What is up you guys? Glitches here and welcome back to the channel. Today I am bringing you a new and improved Battle Pass reveal video. I posted the one previously, but there turned out to be a few things on that particular video that weren't 100% matching to what the final release was going to be, so I was asked to take it down. But now that the game is fully launched, I wanted to quickly make a new video showing all of the revamped features of it and go over everything all over again for you guys, at this time with 100% accuracy. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. First off, if you hit Escape, and go to your main menu we have the stardust advent banner if you click that that is going to bring us to the battle pass now right out the gate as you see we have two tiers a normal tier and an advanced tier the normal tier is going to be free for everyone across the board you don't have to buy anything these are all rewards that we're just going to be getting for free as we rank up and i will go over here in a minute all of the things that do give you battle pass xp long story short it's pretty much everything but the advanced tab is what I really want to go over. There's some killer rewards that you can get in here. Um, but before I go into the details, let's go over actually how to get the battle pass. So right out the gate, you're obviously going to want to hit the buy battle pass button. That will take you to the two different versions that are available. The first one is the Stardust Advent Essential. Unlock all advanced rewards, including the rare fashion items and weapon skins and exclusive poses for the Hunter Spider and the Dragon Dance AWS skin. This is approximately $10, like I mentioned in my previous video. Um, now, the other option is the Stardust Advent Premium. Um, this one is basically the same as the Essential, only you get... 15 bonus levels right out of the gate as well as some exclusive rewards those include the magic nico cradle the crescent moon or cradle skin rather the uh, crescent moon territory decoration which is pretty cool the spider assassin name card and the spider assassin avatar frame and that will be $23.99 so a few dollars more i was kind of averaging based on the wand currency that was in the previous video but now we know the exact usd amount so once you buy either of those, that will unlock both tiers of the Battle Pass, and you'll be getting double rewards all the way through. I will say right up out of the gate that there is 60 levels to the Battle Pass. Um, so at level 1, we're getting the Seabreeze Cradle. This is our first Cradle skin that's been available in the game. Once I go into the shop and things like that, you'll find out that there's actually some more skins that you can get as well. But we'll get to that here in a minute. Moving on, we've got Silver Keys modern desk formulas um the silver keys uh will be used in a uh, battle pass specific shop that i'll go over here in a minute for more cosmetics that was the thing that they wanted me to take down for i'll explain that once we get to it um, we have the head honcho emote more silver keys and some modern wall shelving units um, if you like modern decorations this seasonal pass is going to be perfect for you guys pretty much all the furniture that you're going to be getting for free as part of the pass are all modern themed uh, moving on we have some more keys and then the spider assassin avatar so if you get the premium bundle you're going to be getting the whole unified set the name badge the avatar frame and the avatar uh, photo itself next we have the wrath of nature dbsg shotgun skin this is a cool um, skin that's green with a green dragon on it. Uh, it's a little cool now because I can rotate it and show you the 3D representation. Before it was just a little clip art. So we got a nice little close up of it now. Moving on, we have more keys. Uh, keep in mind all these things on the top that we're going to be getting. You get some free um, armor, a bunch of star chrome. You get thousands and thousands of star chrome from the battle pass for free as well. Everyone will be getting this. You get uh, Stardust Sources, things like that. Uh, but moving on, we have the Extended Low Cabinet. And then finally, we come to our first uh, Cradle Charm. We will be getting uh, Cradle Charms and potentially Weapon Charms as well once we use our keys. So we have a cool little French Fry themed one here that's kind of neat. Moving on, we have our first Cosmetic Armor Skin, the Leopard Cardigan. Kind of show that off. Moving on, we have more keys, and then the motorway modish pants. Just some torn up white jeans. Kind of cool. More keys, more keys, and then the dance the night away emote. Next, we have the gray swivel chair. Nice little modern chair design. And then we move into some uh, sticker emotes, basically, that are going to be on your Hot Wheel. It's pretty cool. 
We get a standing magazine rack. Another decoration for the house that's pretty neat. And then finally we come to the halfway point of the battle pass. And this is probably the coolest part in my opinion. It is the Hunter Spider set. The first really cool animated cosmetic that we're going to be getting. I think this looks super dope. Cool glowing like spider-like eyes on the shoulder. We've got bloody spikes on the boots. Really, really cool. Moving on, we get uh, a little uh, Crimson Fury jacket in the free pass. White sun hat. More keys, more keys, more Starcrum. A modern bookcase to put in your territory. Some more uh, little emotes. Bunch more keys. Then we get the Wrath of Nature skin for the MPS-5. Nice little submachine gun skin. Green dragon themed as well. Some free boots. Then we get the Bonsai Bamboo Tree decoration for your home. That's pretty cool. There's a couple trees in here that are actually really neat. Got the Clear Sky Sneakers. Some more emotes. The Book Stand uh, Vinyl Record decoration. And then we get another Cradle Charm. The Stop Right There Cone. Pretty cool. Couple more keys. We get a metal wall light fixture, modern design as well. The plaid beret, followed by the camo weapon skin preset. This will be a universal one. Should be able to put this on all your weapons if you want. More star chrome, another thousand star chrome. Next, we have the dracana bonsai tree, another really cool decoration for your stronghold. And then last but not least, at level 60, we have the animated dragon dance aws sniper skin really really cool design and as i mentioned in the previous video the design animates so really unique haven't seen that on really any skins yet so that's super cool i'll go ahead and play the trailer here if you guys haven't seen this good chance to see everything live in action also gives you a good uh, chance to see the uh, Hunter Spider set on both a male and female uh, body type, which is nice. There's the uh, cat skin for the cradle with the premium bundle. All the minimalist, modern theme design stuff for your base. Really, really cool. So, pretty neat stuff. Now, the next thing I want to go over is the silver keys. Well, actually, let's do the tasks first. These are all the things that you can do to get Battle Pass XP now. And like I mentioned, it's pretty much everything. Um, not only will you be getting the uh, little pop-up for normal experience when you complete tasks now, but you will also be getting a secondary pop-up to show you that you're getting Battle Pass XP as well. So right out the gate, we have adventures, uh, exploring strongholds, participating in public crisis events, and discovering new areas gives you Battle Pass XP for tasks, the main story, the side story missions, commissions, and journey tasks all give you Battle Pass XP. For combat, defeating normal enemies, elite enemies, bosses, and rift entities inside of Monoliths give you Battle Pass XP. We also get Battle Pass XP for Eternal Land, which is pretty cool. The order system, crafting items, harvesting crops from bushes or fish, and gathering from your planter boxes. Moving on to crafting items. Crafting with the furnace and electric furnace. Crafting on supply benches and crafting on the synthesis benches also give you battle pass xp and then lastly for gathering mining ore logging trees and gathering crops will give you weapon xp or battle pass xp sorry so pretty much everything you're doing until you max it out will be giving you battle pass xp along with normal xp so that's really good um, but the thing i wanted to go back to are these silver keys this is the reason they wanted me to bring the video down for whatever reason on the test server if we go to the battle pass shop there was an extra little option here for testing purposes only that we didn't notice that was a supply crate that supply crate did have consumable items that could potentially be considered pay to win but 
let me reassure you guys, there is no pay to win features in this game at all. Starry Studios is very against that. So they wanted me to take that down because in obviously the full release, that was option is not going to be here. These are going to be strictly cosmetic things only. So you can spend those keys on the Pixel Fortune Cat. We have two different hairstyles as well as some weapon charms that I mentioned. We have the Gardener Bee and a Carrot as well as three exclusive emotes. Now, if you thought that was all, wait, there's more because not only is there a Battle Pass shop and the Battle Pass itself, but we now have an actual cosmetic shop. Before we jump into that though, I will let you guys know that these items will require paid currencies. And to get those currencies, you have to go to the top up tab. So you click that. And here is the current system for the paid currency. They are called Christians. And now we have the actual USD amounts. So for 99 cents, we have 60, 499, 330. For $15, we have 1,090. $30, we have 2,280. $50, 3,880. And for 100, we have 7,880. So plenty of options, depending on how big or small you want to go to buy the cosmetics you want. But without any further ado, let's go check those cosmetics out. So head over to the actual paid shop. And here is all the cool stuff that we have in here. So the what's new tab is going to be just the generic deals that are going on at any given time, the bundles and things like that. We can show these off a little bit quicker just by going to the cosmetics tab. So right out the gate, we have the Shadow Panther set. Really cool cosmetic set, Black Panther op style soldier uniform, but it has this really cool glowing, pulsing red uh, lightning effect going on. So that's really cool. We have the cute pet carnival set for you fancy pants players out there. We've got the white reaper set, a nice little El Dorado cowboy themed set. There is actually, a, I believe, a bundle with this as well that we'll go over here in a minute. We have the Furutaka demeanor set. Cool little Asian themed helmet here. One of my favorites, the Dino Strike set, complete with a dangling tail that's on the back of it, which is pretty cool. Next, we have the Artiste set, another sort of cowboy themed one, only this has got some neat uh, paint drip effects on it. Moving on to the less rare ones, we have the Royal Era set, the Mithril Traveler set for you Terminator fans out there, the Trendy Park set. And then lastly, the Modern Era set. So these are all the sets, but there is a bunch of things that you can buy individually. So if we click on parts, we now have sunglasses. We have uh, individual jackets, the Knight Rider jacket, the Polaris shorts. We have beanies, shoes, and a few more exclusive emotes that you can pick up. Under hair and makeup, we just have one potential hairstyle that you can grab uh, for each male and female type. So that's one thing there. We also have some uh, facial markings that you can unlock for the male and female. So those are some things you can get there. Moving on to the cradle. I mentioned we get the one uh, pink one for free as part of the battle pass, but there is two other options you can unlock besides the cat one from the premium uh, bundle. And that is the enchanted jungle themed one. And then lastly, we have the Sakura campus school themed one. So really cool skins there. If you're looking to upgrade your, uh, basically cradle then lastly we have our first themed pack this is what i was mentioning a second ago includes that el dorado white reaper skin but it also comes with the ominous um basically shotgun skin which is really really cool i'm glad that we can finally see this in 3d now so really really nice skin for pretty much any of the weapons of that kit we also get the provoke emote little gunslinger emote and then lastly, the backlight uh, butterfly face paint. So that is going to be that little combo bundle, bundle rather. Moving on, we have our weapon skins. So the first bundle is going to be the ominous bundle. We've got a skin for the R500 Magnum. Got a really cool skin for the DBSG shotgun, double barrel shotgun. And then lastly, for the cam assault rifle. We've got another really cool skin. I love the look of this ominous skin. It's really, really cool. Um, we didn't actually get to see the animations of it in the last video I made, so I'm glad that I'm kind of redoing it here because they look way cooler in real life. Moving on, we have the Who Ate My Cherries bundle. Cool little uh, pink-themed one. This is for the MPS-5 uh, um, submachine gun. We also have one for the MG-4 
heavy machine gun. And then lastly, one for the crossbow. All of these have animations on them, which is really cool. Moving on, we have the Glacial Age Bundle, a really cool ice-themed set. This one's for the uh, Deagle 50 caliber uh, handgun, the KV <clears throat> SBR uh, submachine gun, the vector-looking submachine gun, and then lastly, the KVD heavy machine gun. So really, really cool skins for those three particular weapons. I love that uh, smoky ice uh, animation on it. It's really cool. And then last but not least, we have the Tokyo Drift, you know, steampunk thing, or not steampunk, but uh, cyberpunk themed skin here, the Color Splash Bundle. This one is for the uh, Double Barrel 12 uh, shotgun, the SOCR Scar Auto Rifle, and then lastly, the Hammer Sniper Rifle. So really cool animated skins. I'm glad I'm kind of redoing it because these look way better in real life with the 3D representations. Moving on, we have smaller skins that aren't necessarily animated but still look cool. We have the Go 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 gift box. This has got an R500 skin as well, one for the MPS7 and one for the um, crossbow. So cool little green themed one there. And then lastly, the Inky gift box, cool uh, silver and black themed. Again, for the Deagle 50 caliber, the SN700 sniper rifle. And lastly, the KVD heavy machine gun. So really cool uh, skins there. Next, we have single skins. So if you want to purchase each one of these individually, instead of getting the bundle, you can do that as well. It is 1560 if you want the whole thing. They've got a little hotkey here to click if you want to do it that way. But you can go through and buy all these individual. And then lastly, we have weapon charms. We've got the rock and roll rep weapon charm, little microphone. And then lastly, the Digby Boy, one of the deviants that you can collect early on in the game. Got a nice little charm based off that. So that's pretty cool. Moving on to territories, one of my favorite sections. We have one of the coolest things I've seen yet, and that is the uh, glass sunroom set. Now these are actually, if you click on here, um, purchasable, purchasable uh, territory materials. So they will replace any of the pre-existing structures that you already have built and kind of like acquire the stats of that particular material. So you can have this look at a level one quality base at a end game quality base. You can throw this on any wall. The other cool thing is uh, you can share this build with your friends that are within the same territory. So as long as you're in a hive and you have access to both, People can uh, put this material on shared buildings, which is really cool. Only one of you really needs to have it. Um, it's a basic framework, interior, and attachments. Um, as the basic build framework, interior, attachments increase, the material pack will expand, uh, expand to cover the new parts of your base for free. So as long as you have this set uh, selected and turned on, any new thing that you build will automatically turn to that new style of uh, glass theme, which is really, really cool. You can go ahead and uh, actually, we don't necessarily have to do this. That's all the individual parts. There was a video, but it looks like they took it down um, that showed off this pretty cool. Or actually, it might be underneath. Here we go. So here's kind of a demo of what it could potentially look like once you build something. I'm 100% going to be buying this because I can just picture our cool base, especially the deviant room with all the different colored LEDs. It's going to look really cool when the whole base is see-through, I think. So... For you builders out there, this is going to be a really cool uh, um, skin for your building. Super, super cool. I like these base designs too, actually. So there you go. And then moving on, we have a couple more bundles. We have the Modern Outdoor Patio. We have the Sweet Frosting Pink Girly theme set. We have the Metal Fashion Street set. The White French Wardrobe set for people that want a more elegant look. Next, we have the Mr. Wishmaker figurine collection. It's basically just a bunch of Mr. Wishes and a bunch of different poses that you can uh, put as standees anywhere around your territory, which is pretty cool. And then lastly, we have the Green Potted Plant Collection which is just a bunch of different fauna that you can place down. 
um, and get right out the gate if you buy the bundle. So really cool there. Moving on to the next tab, we have the Meta Pass. This was something that was a little controversial, but I can assure you it's not bad at all and does not affect anything that would matter in the game. It is not pay to win. It is going to be a subscription that you can buy on top of the Battle Pass that it will be $5 a month, basically. And once you subscribe, it instantly unlocks a bunch of free emotes as well as give you 300 of those paid Christian currencies for free. And all this does is make the in-game features that are already there a little bit better. So let me explain. Number one, you can claim Mitsuko marks times 10 daily. So normally you're capped at the amount that you unlock based on your challenges. This will give you a basically free 10 extra marks a day if you have this monthly pass. So you can collect that and that is obviously used for only cosmetics. Next, we have the team interface decorations. You can add a cool little design to your nameplate to customize it a little bit more. Again, not pay to win. Next, we have the fully upgraded campsite. This is the one that people were questioning. Um, you basically um, get uh, new disassembly functions um, that you wouldn't otherwise have on your normal campsite. And now it has a new skin and can be shared with friends and team members that are in your party. So multiple people can use this, not just you. People were concerned that this might be used in PvP scenarios, but any end game PvP situation, especially the frontier battles, if you watch some of my older videos, they're all instance battles. You get teleported into a like um, basically controlled environment, a controlled zone, and you don't use your campsite as a respawn point. All the respawn points are fixed. So your campsite that you typically use is really only gonna be used for PvE content, which won't make or break the game or give anyone else an advantage. Um, it's just a basically quality of life update that you can get uh, as an added bonus. Uh, moving on, we have two things for Eternal Land. Again, not pay to win. These are just free things for your um, basically playground in, in Eternal Land. We have uh, the refresh time uh, for orders is uh, reduced by five minutes. So you get uh, faster um, order refreshes. And then lastly, you get a little bit of a reduced building cost. All of the astral sand costs for materials, which is the currency that you use within Eternal Land to build things, those will all be 10% less cost as well. So it's a nice little $5 a month bonus that you can pay for that just increases um, the convenience and the quality of life of the features that are already in the game. None of that is paid to win. And last but not least, we have the other section. These are um, more chests that can be unlocked with energy, obviously free to everyone, um, and you get energy like crazy. This just gives you a bonus 50 Mitsuko marks once a week that you can buy if you have enough energy. Then for the Christian coins, if you buy the currency, you have a renaming card so you can change your player name. And then lastly, a Chrysalis to uh, token. This is used to change your appearance. There is a new um, basically mirror that you can build within your territory that you can interact with and change the look of your character at any time. And these are the tokens that we use to get that. Um, lastly, for redeemable cosmetic to uh, tokens, um, for those of you that don't know, you can potentially get duplicates of certain cosmetics and things like that from random boxes that you may not want. If you if you do that, you can then dismantle them. You can actually see that here. It's called a cosmetic token used to redeem rare items in the item shop, and it's uh, obtained by disassembling cosmetics. So anything in this list that uses those are basically just going to be additional cosmetics that you can trade in all the other things that you unlock via a battle pass or something like that that you don't want. You can dismantle those, get these little redeemable tokens, and then potentially spend it on something that you do want. So we have the colorful badge here, open to receive colorful badges times 20, which can be used to unlock dyes within the closet. We have uh, the wooden bar counter, a cool little uh, decoration, or not even a decoration, a set piece really for your uh, territory. We've got the cowboy hat um, uh, cosmetic uh, helmet, the gothic knight gloves, a rebellious rivet hat, the grayish tattered jacket, the sunny flower hat, the octopus plush gloves. It's got cool little uh, eyeballs on them, which is kind of neat. And then lastly, we have the colorful rings cradle charm. And finally, a wall mounted flat shelf. So all of these are redeemable by just dismantling cosmetics you don't want. Again, not pay to win. So as you can see, there is absolutely no pay-to-win features in the game. 
Everything that you potentially saw in my previous video has been removed. Those are strictly for testing purposes only. So everything that you would get is uh, strictly for cosmetics and things like that. So nothing to worry about there. Um, but yeah, that is the Battle Pass system. If you guys found it informative and enjoyed it, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below. I appreciate all of your guys' feedback. Lastly, if you want to keep up to date with all my future content, consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. And finally... If you want to join a community of like-minded gamers, feel free to check the links down in the description and join us on the Discord. We have hundreds and hundreds of players in there, all playing Once Human right now. So if you're excited to join a new community, you want to sign up for the potential war band that we're making, feel free to join us and hopefully we see you guys around. But until the next one, hope everyone has a great day and we'll see you all later.